Good Monday. This is Jay Brew, co-chairman of Sea Freedom Brew. This Saturday, front page of the New York Times talking about an economy that might be stumbling in here. You keep hearing this noise rising, especially after we got the non-farm jobs number this past month, along with the jobless claim numbers being somewhat higher over the last two weeks. And people start talking. The talking heads start saying, gee whiz, this economy might be slowing down in here, coming in closer to the Fed projections. Well, we have to think better as community bankers. We need indexes that are going to be predictive in terms of what this economy is doing and not listen to the noise. So we go back to looking at from Fed Philadelphia, looking at the past three months. Once again, this is the past three months, the economy in growing all green in here, meaning that light green being in that one-tenth of a percent to 0.5 percent growth slightly darker green being in six tenths to one percent growth and the dark green one percent growth and higher. Let's think back when we've gone through this in the fourth quarter is that we didn't see as much dark green and light green as what we're seeing now and yet we got three percent growth in the fourth quarter. This would indicate coming in through the first two months of this year that that 3% or higher growth continues to play out in here, not showing any kind of slowdown, at least in the past. But we want to be able to sit there and look at something more predictive. So the index we like to see is the leading index with a six-month forecast. And what we're seeing, I like to call it the pool table, the dark green really moving out this is January's, and we've talked about January's before, saying that the next six months looks very positive, meaning when we look at the light green here, slightly different, being zero to one and a half percent growth, dark green being in that one and a half to four and a half percent growth, and then the blue being five percent growth or higher. So when we looked at that and talked about this before, we said this is a very good sign for the economy. Now we've had gas prices starting to move up. What kind of effect do we now have with the new six-month leading forecast? And suddenly we have more dark green states. We have two that have changed more or less to that, say, a little bit around zero type growth but on an overall basis we now have more dark green states. So when we look at that, that could be indicating higher than 3% growth out there, even with the effect of energy prices. When we also talk about unemployment and housing prices, think about where the biggest effect has been in terms of unemployment and housing prices in that western sector showing mostly dark green. When we look at the southeast being the other sector that was so affected is that now we're looking at that of course being in the dark green zone. Once again the feeling would be is that some of these slow down effects economy doesn't move straight up. What we're looking at is still so much strength in our overall economy as well as you can look at your particular growth in your particular state. So when we want to find something that's predictive, this is there for us and it keeps us away from the noise. This is Jay Brew, co-chairman of Sea Freedom Brew. Have a good week.